What's up, everyone? Brian here with IGN. We're going to take a look at this game that kind of breaks my brain. I'm sitting here with... Alan Tingley. Hey, Alan. Uh, Museum of Simulation Technology. Uh, we saw some gameplay of this a month or two ago, and it plays with perspective, and it's really crazy. I don't know what's going on, so please help me. So uh, <laughs> our team from Carnegie Mellon University has been working on the Museum of Simulation Technology for the last two months. Uh, and it's a game really focused on the idea of forced perspective. So if you see here in this painting, uh, it's mostly used in photographs. It's to create uh, imaginative, unbelievable scenes. Right. Uh, She's not as big as a sphinx, is what you Exactly. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. For, for, for laymen's like me. Uh, basically, <laughs> it makes big stuff look small and small stuff look big. And, uh, yeah, layman's we, like the Carnegie Mellon City. <laughs> right, right. I'm the producer. I'm like okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So we, our, our designer, Albert, came up with this really unique concept of using forced perspective as a way to interact with the world. Uh, and then we sort of took that and started building it out into uh, different kind of levels. So if you see here, this is our attempt at sort of explaining some of the mechanics as we play. Okay, so you picked up this chunk of amber uh, from Jurassic Park. Yes. Well, I don't know if that's a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, close enough. <laughs> and it's gigantic now. Right. And then, oh, no. So I'm, I'm bad at this You're game. You're supposed to be good at this. No, I'm real bad. <laughs> um, Wait, are you inside of it? No, that didn't happen. I thought you were trapped. So, <laughs> yeah. And we place it down there, and all of a sudden, it's a totally different size. And okay, the real so goal... No, oh, oh no, nope, nope, go for it. So the whole goal of this area was us trying to iterate on a way to explain this concept to people without showing it to them. Um, people really love the game and love, love what's going on, but they very often don't know how or why. <laughs> <laughs> just, they know something exciting is happening. Right, it's like, I okay, don't know what's going so on here. So is, this is a like a puzzle game, right? Like yeah. You're going to use these objects to try and solve, like get your way through an environment? Very much so. Okay, so, so is this this is too tall to jump up then? Yep. So this okay. is the first kind of puzzle we present the player. We taught them to jump uh, in the earlier scene, mm -hmm. and then sort of, you know, you run up here and think you're going to do the same thing, and uh, you can't. Okay. And all you have in the room that you can interact with are these sort of amber... Uh, <laughs> Whatever you call them. <laughs> so I saw, okay, I get how you just made that really large. How would I make this small again? So the You'd way look, it works, okay. the way it works is that it really projects itself to the nearest collision. Mm -hmm. So using a wall right near you or um, using the floor is a great way to control the size. Okay. Um, All right, so we uh, want to make some makeshift stairs out of these. Yeah, essentially. so essentially we're going to use this. Whoops, sorry about that. That's we're going to use this to make stairs. And then, like you said, you've been working on this for, what, two months? Like, yeah, we started, uh, it was, let's see, a two-week class project for our designer, Albert. Okay. And uh, we came on in the winter to sort of flesh it out and turn it into a real game. Uh, if the demo that sort of went on YouTube a few months ago mm -hmm. was really our first attempt at trying to wrangle this stuff. And we, we've only had a f little bit of time since then to figure out what's going on. So you've been showing this off at GDC? Yeah. Uh, All week, it's been awesome. Yeah, the reception the reception has been pretty good then? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, we feel really honored to be there with, with what we think is, you know, a game that still has a lot of work to go. Mm. Um, but so, sorry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, you So there's definitely, like, the main mechanic of this game. Uh, you're only two months in. What is What is left to do? Is it more puzzles at this point? Yeah, so we really spent the last two months trying to make this thing unbreakable because we knew we were coming to GDC and people were going to want to play it and we really didn't want to have to sit there and uh, you know make it work sure. every single time. So, so you just made the fan gigantic here. Oh Sorry, yeah. I'm trying Let me to go talk back to, to you about something and then keep up with what's also going on here on the screen. Yeah, so I'll go back to that level. <laughs> okay. This level shows um, sort of one of the ideas we're playing with in that this fan blows stuff around. Mm -hmm. Um but it scales relative to its size. So as you make it really small, it barely blows things. But if you make it, you know, as large as possible, it'll start moving it'll stuff these around. Columns down. Yeah, start okay. moving stuff oh, around the room. It. Yep, and you can rotate. That's actually a hugely requested feature from people who've played it. So we put that in there, and it's been working pretty well. It makes some of the puzzles a little easier, but removes a lot of the frustration. Sure, probably worth it. So what you see all there was that I, I made the, the fan basically as large as I could within mm -hmm. the confines of the room uh, to reach the exit up at the top. And that's pretty much the goal of the game at this point. You enter a room, you see what's available for yourself to use to reach the exit. Is this 
playable somewhere right now? Online or... Not yet. Not? Okay. Um, so it's funny. We are in the process of trying to figure out what the next steps are for this game. We put uh, roughly two weeks of pre-production in before we got into the IGF. And then we realized, oh, crap, uh, we can't worry about that right now. We have to build a game. <laughs> sure. So... After GDC this month, we'll be heading back to Pittsburgh at Carnegie Mellon University and putting our heads down and trying to really wrap our minds around where this game is going. Mm -hmm. um, one of the nice things is that this demo is pretty cleaned up, and we think at some point we'll put it out there for people to hold, play. Hold on. Don't pretend like you didn't just pull the moon out of the oh, sky. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just, I've seen this so much. So No, this is awesome. You want <laughs> <laughs> you walk into this room and it's like, oh man, what's going on? There's not really a door. There's no, there's nothing really interactive. There's this box that doesn't. You know, it's, it's pretty. That's a box. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And there's right. a checkboard and actually this is our programmer Shao down here. He, that's that's kind of what, what, what he looks like. like. Yeah, that's what he looks okay. like in real life. Uh, so the, the, oftentimes the player comes in here doesn't really know what to do. They'll pick up this box. They'll play with it. They'll try to throw it up into the air. And I think the drawing and the telescope make it kind of. A you would think. Obvious, you would think. Maybe not. Maybe it not. doesn't. Um, <laughs> so we've been doing a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of research, and oftentimes when people come through here and play this level, uh -huh. they play with this box for like ten minutes, even though there's the moon and, like, this game and all these and things. Quit. There's this telescope, and we're often like, eh, what if he just ignored the box? And you know, there it is. You grab the moon right out of the sky box. That is uh, great. Now, what do you do with this moon? This is the part that might stop me. Oh, it has it oh, right down the back. Yeah, so the door, the exit you've been looking for the whole time has been hiding up there. On the dark side of the moon. On the dark. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I apologize. That's all right. Uh, we don't owe Pink Floyd anything. It's fine. <laughs> So this is one of our more experimental levels we're working on. Uh, I can't guarantee that everything is going to work as well as we'd like. <laughs> uh, saying that, my programmer is going to kill me. But um, the idea here is that you're in this room, and it kind of looks uh, interesting. You sure, look you out the window, paintings. okay, and the, you see the exit you need to get to, but there's, there's not a clear way to get there. Before, we've used the ceiling and the floor and paintings, but... As Why don't you just break them. down the wall with a rocket launcher? Oh, well, you know, we thought about that, but we didn't want to, you know, tread on Quake too far. Sure, so. okay. And destructible <laughs> terrain is kind of out of our uh, wheelhouse right now. Sure, I understand. But, <laughs> <laughs> so what we thought would be much cooler is if we could just make this window really big. And, and if everything works well, hop right Success. through Success! Exit. Turn around, and you find That's yourself in a completely new place. Uh... <laughs> and we can run right over to the exit and exit out. So this was an attempt to try to look, play with more of the surrealist elements of the game. Okay. Um, so that felt a lot different than the other puzzles you showed me, and I don't, I don't even know what's happening here right now. But uh, is there more of that to come? Yeah. So the puzzles, the first four puzzles we, we were showing at GDC were really about explaining to the players the mechanics of making stuff smaller and larger, um, and using those to sort of traverse the plane. Um, what's going on here, if you notice, there's these things called uh, portals. Uh, you, may, you may have heard of them. Some game used them once to some good Do effect. Do you think with them? Uh, no, 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 no. You don't think with them. You go through them. Okay. You go in one and you come out the other. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh, whoops, sorry about that. That's fine. Come through. They act just like the portals you normally expect. But if you make one a little larger, what happens is that... Everything through that portal changes in size <laughs> relative. So you walk through. My hands are on my head right now, everybody. And now <laughs> you are a tiny little person I <laughs> coming out of a giant door. <laughs> uh, and it works in reverse, so you go back to get to sort of a normal size. And now size. you're gigantic, right? Yeah. Can you be gigantic? Oh, no, you're not gigantic. Well, now you're just normal size. Yeah, so now I'm back to normal size. Okay. Let me restart here and show you a way we're using this to solve a puzzle. So sure. There's not an exit. You wouldn't think that there's really much going on here. But if you take this door, kind of make it as big as you possibly can. That's really big. Oh, notice our wonderful uh, character model right there. Oh. Our artist is doing great work <laughs> with that. So we make this door as, as large as possible. Okay. And when we look through this small one, it's like, well, what's going on in there? There's stuff in there wow. I didn't quite see before. Okay. Pop out. 
there is where we That's were. That's where you just were. That's where we just were. Here's the exit to the puzzle. And you're on your way. <sighs> okay. I don't know if I can take any more of that. Oh, good. We're at the end anyway. Yeah, so that's it. All right. Uh, we, <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> we do have a few more levels we'll be showing at EGW that uh, aren't quite ready to, for the public, but uh, keep an eye tuned to PillowCastleGames.com or PillowCastle on Twitter. We'll be sure to share everything as we come out Yeah, with thank it. you. We'll be keeping an eye on this. It's very cool. Uh, my head hurts a little bit, so we have to stop now. But thank you so much for thank stopping you. by. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brian. And thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to break your brain alongside with me, uh, just keep it right here on IGN for all the crazy muse museum simulation technology news. <laughs>